Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back on the Transport Fever 2 main line and we're here at Utopia Planitia Annex where the main line service has just dropped off its goods. Good. Yeah, there yeah, I see. That's that's all good. Now the main line's a very profitable route. But I mean we established that last time around and, and invested a bit on uh, on making the route go a little bit further in that way that we have been doing for the entire series so far. The only downside to it is I've got nothing like enough trains on there. Uh, I think I've got four on there at the moment. Uh, let's have a quick uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, the main line has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, well, all right, so not four. Uh, regardless, I could run the same number again and uh, and still have plenty of bandwidth on the main line. Why am I telling you this? No reason at all. I'm not focusing on the main line today. We're going to do something with passengers. Passengers, friends, that's what we're about today, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're looking at Mega City 1, as is very obvious by the Mega City 1 there, written in the middle of the screen, and uh, and we're going to head a passenger service down to Gotham. Well, that seems like, that does seem fundamentally quite mundane. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does seem a little bit on the mundane side. All right, okay, as a bonus feature, if I've got time, I'll also do Grazer Ridge to Port Miggins to uh, New New York. How about that? Okay, I won't have time. Because uh, I'm, I'm going to try and make a halfway decent job of this. And fundamentally, uh, what I want to be able to do is turn Mega City 1 into a branching hub. Mm, uh, where you get some passenger services then head out to Grazer Ridgewood. And uh, some of the passenger services head out towards Sherman. And then some of the passengers head up to Utopia Planitia. There's a lot to do there. And this beautiful piece of architectural junctioning is likely to be first against the wall. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to work because that's why we're here. Uh, first things first. I've got real bad news for you people, but I suspected you knew that was coming anyway. And also, this bus service, yeah, yeah, your time has come. Um, all right. So, what are you going to do, in, and in which order? Step one: kill bus service. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Manage vehicles. It only makes eighty-six grand a year, so like whatever. Uh, right. Do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tar. Uh, and then we want to actually delete the uh, the route itself. Thank you. Yeah, I want to delete. And how how is it that you've forgotten how to delete a route? Surely you've deleted a route before. You know, I don't think I have in ages. If I just press no, I just close the met. Wow. How have I? Sorry, my brain's gone completely blank. How the heck do you delete a route? No, I've done it about, I imagine, around 10,000 times. Uh, delete, no, 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 no. It's not going to be one of those. Oh, that's weird. Why can't I remember? Uh, you just hit that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why was I overthinking it? Don't know. Anyway, that's that done. Um, so, right. Uh, Gotham's going to need a, a station. Uh, the only question is, is that station going to lead to somewhere else afterwards? You know, a hot route down to Raccoon City might be a giggle. Yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, yeah. A hot route down to, to Raccoon City might be a giggle. Um, so we'll get a... Ooh, 240-ish. Maybe maybe a little less than that. Meter uh, station in here. Uh, double track, it won't need any more than that. You reckon 240 or you reckon a 160 might do it? Well, if I'm going to run any long passenger services, it's going to be here. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's just pause her up, hit the bulldozer. There you go. Jobs are good. Yeah, job is pretty much a good in there. Um, right, yeah. Just give it a give it a little bit of a wiggle, because at the moment you're swerving slightly too much towards the coast. What about this road in between? Well, that's all right. We'll deal with that with the bulldozer in that way that roads so richly deserve to be bulldozed. And then uh, maybe maybe bring it along. You know what we should do? We'll change my mind. Uh, we should stick it like that. Yeah, you sure that's bulldozing enough buildings? It's only seven. What's your problem? It's also 1.3 million. Mm. Ah, quit your belly aching. Um, right, that's going to be that's going to be super. Uh, and then over here, we'll uh, we'll do a bit of this. Uh, we'll give it a bit of that, and uh, we'll just put some street access. I had a ponder in that way that I occasionally do before I kicked off today about uh, do I want to build this as the uh, as the final version of this station or am I going to add this to the as we review the map 
for the second lap, uh, do I want to uh, revisit my uh, my passenger services at the same time? And the answer was, you know, that might be quite nice because that way it could count as modernisation. I figure by the time we're on the second lap, it's going to be, assuming the frame rate holds up, right? Uh, it's going to be, what, 1950-ish, I think? I don't know if that's optimistic or pessimistic, but uh, let's assume, for the sake of argument, it's going to be 1950-ish, uh, then... Uh, Changing, uh, changing infrastructure and uh, and station designs and what have you that were put together in the uh, the late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds is probably the kind of thing that would happen, and therefore, yeah. So uh, so therefore, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll smash this in in a, a kind of a skin. In which case, a two forty was overkill. True. But, you know, maybe this is just a forward-thinking town, or it's a, a town that has uh, aspirations beyond what can realistically be accomplished. All right. Okay. You know, we're probably going to have to expand Mega City 1 station right now, don't you? Yeah. On which note, where is it? It's up here. Yeah. All right. We'll take this a little bit further, and then, uh, and then we'll review just how much carnage we have to uh, inflict upon the people of MCO. All right. Okay. There we go. Right, so that's that. Yeah, do you want to put signals in now? Yeah, might as well. Uh, yeah, someone inevitably in the comments is going to say, hey, you know there's a mod that automatically plays the signals. I kind of go, yeah, but I'm sure there's a mod that automatically plays the entire game for you as well. And, and similarly, I'm not interested in that. Placing signals, getting them wrong, that's all part of the fun of the fair. Uh, that's, that's where the giggles live. Um, yeah, no, and also you do, your personal choice of spacing of signals. Somebody, uh, several people said that you got your signals wrong up near Dark City. All right, okay, you'll forget. I'm going to do that now. Sorry, no, no, no. It, it just literally popped into my head is that I've got trains waiting much further away from the helix than they need to be. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, look, just check all the signaling around here. All right, so you got signals going that way, no problemo. And then in the opposite direction, coming out of Raccoon City, you've got signal there. All right. So, uh, what do you think the problem is? I think the problem's in the eye of the uh, in the eye of the user. There are signals all along the track here. Do you have signaled it? I have signaled it. It's signaled. Signaled is what it is. All right. Just triple check, would you? I'm doing. All right. Look, is, are you waiting? He is waiting. Are you waiting? It's because we're paused. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go on, carry on. See, he's not actually waiting. All right, fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's maybe a slightly longer section than we need, but based on the number of trains I've got, it's not. All right, let me run round here. Are you going to say that the viewers were incorrect? I might be about to, unless I missed it. There are signals aplenty on this route. Then you come into this cacophony of nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, boy, we don't look at that too closely. Uh, and then we swerve out this way. This is quite a long, unsignaled section. Yeah, it's not massively long. You've got signalling going on here. Yeah, okay. No, and spacing is important, remember? Uh, yeah, yeah, spacing is important. And therefore, leaving some gaps between your signals is no bad thing. Could do with another one on the, on the peninsula loop. No, you've got the implied signal at the station, you see? So the train goes through the station, does its uh, business shaker-shaker, comes back out the other side. Yeah, all right. Yeah. No, I think the viewers were wrong. Either that or I'm forgetting exactly what it was that they said. Let's get back on with what I was doing. Um, right. Okay, so we need to come out through here unless I'm going to radically change where the station actually lives. And odd though it may seem, I am going to change exactly where the station lives. Uh, I'm going to put it here. And you kind of go, well, oh, yeah, that's... I mean, fundamentally, it changes absolutely nothing with regard to what I'm about to bulldoze. Uh, yeah, Angie, wait for it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah, yeah I know. I just broke everything. It's all right. I'm going to unbreak it in a moment or potentially make it worse. Oh, yeah. the, the times will decide for themselves, friends. But I, I needed more platform, you see. I'm going to stick four in here, even though I think I probably only need two or three. Uh, but uh, that that will then afford me a little bit of uh, expansion wigglage opportunities later on, should said expansion wigglist opportunities be required. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, pff, I don't actually know. 
Uh, right, slap in a couple of these, would you? No. What do you mean, no? All right, do this. Yeah, do that. Yeah, slap in a couple of these, would you? Yeah, I was saying before, no. What do you mean you can't have a second flipping entrance? Of course you can. You can have many more platforms than this. Why, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? I don't know. What have you done wrong? Tracks, yeah. Can't do that either. Unpause? No. Pause? No. Okay. Cargo sheds? Nothing happening. Passenger buildings? Yeah. Yeah. See the previous note. I cut. What? That doesn't make any sense. This feels very much like it's broken. It doesn't make any sense. I haven't got. Press configure again. Yeah, it might help if you looked at the right station. There's something rotten in Denmark. No, I think what you no, oh no, no. I, I was just I was just questioning whether or not I'd got that wrong, because uh, that happens. We know that happens. Try it again. Yeah, okay, it's fine now. Well, how mysterious! I must have pressed something wrong and then not quite correct. Uh, right, you can have a bigger station building on this side. I think this one is the one that we will maintain as a uh, as a grand vest vestigiary. Buell towards uh, older times uh, and the glory of the magnificence of rail. Yeah. Glory and magnificence all at once. There you go. See, that's going to look absolutely bonanza. Well, it does look absolutely bonanza. It will look more bonanza if uh, if anybody uses it. Yeah, I'm sure they will. I'm, I'm sure they will. Uh, I don't want to bulldoze you. I've just put you in and that cost me quite the pretty penny. Anyway, next. Yeah, you haven't thought this bit through, have you? No, I haven't. Also, it hasn't inherited the old station. That's a problem. Yeah, you know it is. All right, okay. All right, we're going to do this. This is temporary. All right, just to make, just to make life tolerable again. We're going to do a bit of this and a bit of that. And then this. Yeah, and then just to make sure that I haven't... haven't completely cocked it up. I'm going to do this as well. Uh, that, yeah, and that. I'm going to demolish all of this probably within... It might even be before I unpause the beast, but uh, we'll just try and get it going. Yeah, you've done this in a way that means it hasn't inherited, which is a right pain. How many services do you have going in here? A few. Define a few. Uh, one, two, two. Two's not so bad. Um, all right, Mega. This is just Mega City One, which is what it was before. All right, okay. So if we go to the line here, he went to Mega City One twice. Okay. So all we'll do here is we'll go Mega City One, yeah, and remove that one, and then remove this one, yeah, and uh, add that one. You know, you're probably going to want to tweak this line. I am probably going to want to tweak that line, but let's worry about that in a moment. Uh, let's make it so that the line actually works, and then we'll we'll consider how we might make it work better. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you uh, manage the line? Yeah. You were going to Mega City 1, the station that exists no longer, and so therefore we will short add the Mega City 1, the station that exists currently, and then you will be happy. Train 3 is mightily confused, so we'll just turn that around. We'll unpause it so it can have a chance to think about life. All right, turn it around. Yeah, turn it around again. Waiting for a free path. Let's just assume that's fine. Um, right, okay, get some more bulldozing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, golden, if not better than that. Uh, and then we will run more track down from here. We're going to use this inside line? I think we are. Uh, yeah, what have you got going on there? You seem to be in banking. Do we want him bank? Uh, see, that looks a little bit tidier. I, don't, I think we could get tidier still. No, you've got a dip. Okay. Yeah, that looks... That looks good enough for me. Obviously, we won't know until we ride on it and we find out that it's going... All over the place. Um, but at the moment, it's not doing that. And therefore, you know, we'll we'll take that as a, as a victory of sorts. Uh, stick that on it. I'm here in a train. Yeah, you are here in a train. Where, where, are, you, where are we looking at? I don't know, just train three. Oh, the one that was stuck. Is it still stuck? Yes. All right, son, what's your problem? What's your, uh, what's the crisis that's occurring with you at the moment? Uh, other than you're waiting, 
for what? Um, come on, answers on a postcard. I don't really postcards. Yeah, you might need some signalling up here. Yeah, I might need to relay the track up here because that's that sat there and it's going. I'm all kinds of broken. And you go, yeah, okay, you possibly are. All right. Okay. Well, no, sorry, not to worry. So if we're going down to Gotham, that means I only need an up-down service that goes to Gotham, especially if we're going on to Raccoon City and Rapture, which will be quite a nice line eventually. Um, so you're going to need a two-way uh, station here, which means that these two can become my, my termini uh, for the service that runs out to whatever's over that way. And a service that runs whatever over that way. Because we'll go Utopia Planitia, Mega City 1, Raccoon City, Ra Gotham, Raccoon City, Rapture. That's a handsome, handsome little uh, to and fro route, that one. Uh, with a nice fat interchange at MCO. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the, no, the kids are going to love it. Um, right, bit more bulldozing? Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, but I will. Yeah, I'm trying to, keep, trying to keep a lid on it. Right, pause it before the AI gets any funny ideas. Right, slap one of those in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, it's nice having loads of money temporarily before you spend it all on bulldozing everything. That's uh, that's a real joy. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Give it, give me Captain Curvy here, and uh, we'll Captain Curvy onto there. Like that. See, that looks sort of. Uh, and then down here, you're going to want to bring the land level up a little bit. Yeah, sure. Let's rinse my bank account. Um, yeah, do it. Go on, absolutely hammer this up. There you go. Are you sure hammering is the way that you would do this? It's just an expression. You haven't answered the question. Ah, oh, I know. Uh, right, yeah, a bit of this. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. nice. That's, that's all looking, that's all looking peachy. And it's actually not costing me a bundle because I'm only doing the bits that I actually want. Whereas normally I'll go like, yeah, yeah, do me a, an extra 300 square miles beyond the bit that I'm actually intending to do. And the game will go, well, you're the boss. Oh, it's your money. You go, yeah, it is, isn't it? Is that train still stuck? Yeah. Do we know why it's stuck? No clue. Okay, do we think that it means that there's another train stuck somewhere as well? Almost certainly. Try spinning it around again. All right, no path, and then, and then, all right, ah, no, wait, let's send it to, I don't know, let's just send it anywhere, go, go, you can't do that from there, fine, I shall go and interact with it manually in a moment, and uh, if it, uh, woe betide it, if it is, uh, if it's just misbehaving for the sake of it, why, well, because I'll probably, I'll probably sell it. Um, right, okay, that's sort of right. Uh, and now what we want to do is fix this flame injunction. I don't know how you're going to do that without... I mean, the ideal... Okay, no, I'm going I'm to use the phrase the ideal here, right? But this is the ideal in terms of simplicity. In terms of simplicity, what you would do is just spend probably half a billion on flattening everything out so you don't need any tunnels, right? Now, I know you can create gouges through here, but that's unsightly. Um, and then you could build a, a proper, you know, multi-track big junction here, which would look absolutely baller. Um, but no, we don't want to play with that. Well, that's, that's not something we want to do. Okay. There is a total lack of signaling on here, you know. I wonder if train three is being held by the total lack of signalling that we've got going on here. Well, it's certainly possible. Um, all right, so we've got to send one route out to the main line. This is not the main line. How do you know? Because it's only single flaming track. We've got a single track service going out to Shermer. All right, so where else is it going to go? If it goes out to Shermer. Yeah, so we swing around here. Now, single tracking that is is sort of okay. I'm going to change the play on that in a sec. Hold on. Uh, and then we'll do, we swing around. We go into the pa passenger station. We would probably go beyond that, right? Yeah, I think you carry on the track here and head out to Barter Town, which is currently unserviced. Yeah, but you the problem you've got there is that you then run the risk of just creating a mini 
main line for passengers, which is not what we want to do. Uh, we want to create, you know, passenger network effectively where, where there's lots of uh, interchange and hookups where passengers might change stations, uh, change trains at, at a station uh, in order to arbitrarily just, you know, generate traffic and demand because it facilitates having more trains, um, thereby making the stations look busier and thereby making the whole thing cooler, thereby. Yes. All right. So what's your answer? Well, look, right now you've got MCO, Shermer, and that's it. The alternative would be, which is what I actually think I'm running, is, uh, is Shermer, MCO, Grazer Ridge. Do we go further than that? No, we don't. So you do this kind of W here. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like it either. I think what you should be doing is what almost what you just described, which is MCO, Shermer, Barter Town. Oh, then you could go Dark City and finish in Twin Peaks. Nice. Turn Barter Town into an exchange where you then have Barter Town, Dark City, Raccoon City, and then over to the other side of the river. Okay, that's good fun. I like that. That's interesting. Yeah. Then you also have MCO, Grazer Ridge, follow the main line up, Silent Hill, and Picks Creek down to Gallifrey, turning Picks Creek into an interchange. Turning Picks Creek into an interchange. Okay. Yeah, I quite like that. So it's almost as though, it, if you imagine uh, you've got a, a circle, right? So the circle would be the main line. Uh, and then outside, I'd, I'd love to draw this for you. I could, but I'm too lazy. Um, uh, can, can I draw it? Yeah, I can draw it. Hold on. Wait, I'm going to draw it with roads. Right, here we go. I'll draw you a little diagram of what I'm thinking here. I think you've, you've probably got it already, but I'm going to show you anyway. Right, so we need a bit of that. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's imagine I haven't got enough money to draw my diagram. It's okay, we'll, we'll do that. There we go. Uh, let's, uh, let's borrow the cash to draw a diagram. It's important that people understand what I'm talking about. Uh, right, so you've got your... Uh, right, that's the main line. Obviously, that's abstract, right? But it's but that is the main line, um, uh, going around the whole of the map, including the bit that is made up of uh, of shipping. And then what I'm talking about in terms of the rail routes is that you'd have that's the best way to do this, uh, something like that, right? And then it would come off again like this, and then you would do this repeatedly around the map. Maybe not from here, but maybe from... So maybe the next one would be would go down to here and then would come off like this. So you end up with a, with a kind of a U-shaped root pattern that is going to be repeated all the way around the map. It won't repeat all the way around the map. I'm going to leave that there. That's, uh, that is now known as the Space Hopper. It lives there now. Hang on, I can do it better. Wait, hold on. Just uh, paint tools, a uh, bit of gravel. I was after sand, really. Now try gravel. I think gravel will probably do you. You know you're wasting your time here. No, I'm not. Oh, perfect. Right there you go. Yeah, doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be spot on. There you go. That is the space hopper. That is the diagram that we will refer back to when we want to know what this is all about. Anyway, uh, I've built enough now. No, you haven't. You've got to build that convoluted flipping junction out. Oh uh, yeah. All right. You're going to need a pause. You've got the money for this. So, uh, come on, Captain Track Layer, work your magic. Oh, pity. Um, yeah, uh, right, yeah. How about we start by deleting all of it, apart from the bridges? Yeah, no, I mean, it, this... It, you might go, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 surely this is a little extreme. You're going to go, no, no, you're, well, yes and no. Could be made to work. In fact, it will work as it is now. It will work ugly, but it will work. Uh, but what we want to do is build out a, a junction capable of handling higher capacities of trains. Higher train capacities. Greater capacity trains. Uh, because that's half of the objective here is uh, is up in the tempo uh, yeah right 
Good luck putting that back together again. Do you know where that bridge goes? Yeah, I know where the bridge goes. It goes over the river. Um, right. Now, I don't want to sacrifice all of the single track that I've got, but I think it's fair to say we will be sacrificing some of it. Uh, that, why don't I want to sacrifice all the single track? Because it's kind of cool and it's different. And it's, you know, it, it's, it's so easy to just double track the whole thing. And, uh, and then go, no, it's fine. I can run probably about 20 times the amount of vehicles down here that I'm, that I'm actually running. Uh, it's, it's just overkill. And it's because track laying is incredibly cheap uh, compared to, to other things. Once you, once you reach the point where, you know, you've, you've got the money to just progress as you see fit, then, uh, then there's no challenge anymore. Uh, and so what you want is, is to kind of rebuild the challenge by creating networked challenges. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to double track out of here and to, to keep the initial kind of station merger exit junction exit merger junction to keep that operating smoothly. You're going to double, you're going to quad this or you're going to merge those onto here. I was originally thinking merge those onto there, which would create for quite a busy set of points. But the dream, everyone knows what the dream is, but I'll spell it out again for those of you who maybe haven't dreamed lately. The dream is that there are four trains in the station at the same time and not because they're having to wait to get out. That's the dream. All right? If you can maintain that kind of action, you've you've won it all. All right, okay, well, in which case, let's, let's quad track this. Let's snap that together. You don't have a lot of manoeuvring space that way. So you're going to have to make a relatively quick, uh, relatively quick bit of interchange here. Right, and then we'll slap this on up to there. And that will afford me the opportunity to stick a four-track diamond if I want it. Complete with, you know, slipping the junctions and all of that kind of business. Okay, yeah. Now, at the moment, these are both going to be two-way tracks. You're going to have trains going in both directions because you've got different termini going on here. Uh, these are single direction tracks because that's going to be the, 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 the what do we call it, Utopia Planitia down to Gotham and beyond. Right. So the next tracks that we've got to handle, oh, this sounds like it could get fun in a moment. I re oh, I reckon it could, uh, is, <laughs> this could get silly. This could, this could be an hour's worth of episode about to happen at this junction. I love it. Uh, yeah. All right, here's, here's what could happen. We double track up this way towards UP. This one has to become double track briefly before heading to the bridge because that way we get a little bit of a stack zone here for trains incoming, just to help alleviate the traffic. This we take out in the opposite direction. I think we're probably going to want... Well, actually, we could probably get away with not double tracking this. We could have probably got away with the track that you'd already built there. Um, there's no need to be a Debbie Downer about it. I think there's every need to be Debbie about it. Yeah, you didn't need to do anything to that. I mean, I don't know what your what your traffic frequency intentions are, but I think you'll probably be okay with that. Yeah, I probably will be. All right, okay, we'll stick that in. It's a slightly different layout, but it's ultimately it's the same piece of track. I uh, could have left that alone. Yeah, you need to think about this. What's this bit for? Well, that doesn't doesn't do anything now. Really? No. Is that a main line something? No, it's not. This is a passenger line, and nothing uses it. You sure? I might be. Um, hold on, I'm just I'm I'm just having a moment with myself. No, I don't think I don't think you need that. I think that is a redundant piece of track. In which case, let's not expand it any further. Let's leave it there as a testimony to something else that I built that I shouldn't have. Oh, the best things. I am going to make a change to this bridge. Uh, not a huge one. I'm just going to I'm just going to rock it back a little bit so we can start the manoeuvre a bit earlier. Because that's going to loop in over here onto track three. That's marvellous. I'd love this to have a bit of double track on it as well. Again, for, for kind of stack purposes. Yeah, this one, I might need to double track some of that that heads up towards Shermer. 
Um, but I'll worry about that when I start building out the number of trains. Because the one thing I can't afford to do at the moment is build any more blame, flaming trains. Because I'm, I'm spending all my money doing this. Nonsense. Right, you are going to want to go downhill here in order to form some kind of a tunnel chiki. If you do not, then flying these two tracks over the top is going to prove to be what we in the trade call a bit of a mission. Alright, okay. Incidentally, or Captain's Log Supplemental, uh, you're also going to want these tracks to be able to interchange so that everything is effectively on the network. Oh, no, no now you live in a fancy land, man. It, you can't have it, alright? You can't have that, no. Alright, so there's, there's that doing its thing. Yeah. You've buried some of it below ground, which you're going to need to do, because now I can bring this up alongside. We can swing it over the top and everybody's flipping, singing kumbaya. Um, you out here over doing, yeah, all of this kind of caper. That's going to create an ugly tunnel entrance. You know you can't stand an ugly tunnel entrance. Rightly so. All right. Train stacking. That's why I'm doing this. All right, just so that they're not waiting on the other side of the Chuffin River. Uh, right. There you go. Like that. Yes, it makes for a somewhat slow bit of a junction bit there, but uh, I'm moderately comfortable with it. So you're going to be stacking them in the tunnel. That's about the size of it, yes. And also, I'm going to do this. Go on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Bulldozer corner. Now this is not how it's going to work, but I think in a in a practical sense this is a this is a, a good move. And then we'll roll you round all the way to about here. Right. And then we uh we the way we slip that junction and that all that'll work nicely. Is that junction ugly or is it the hotness? Um it's ugly. Alright, okay, well, how about you... I know, I'll de-uglify it. There you go. Whoa! Hey, you took out quite a bit there, tiger. Yeah, I know, but needs must. Alright, now, what was the uh, elevation change going on there? Do you think it was it was just slightly shifting, or do you think it was on the flat? I think it was just slightly shifting. Why is the construction not possible? Construction is very possible. You have an attitude problem. That's all. Yeah. Do you know what happens to people with an attitude problem? We bulldoze them and then build it again. Yeah. That'll correct your attitude at quick sharp. Uh, I think it's quick smart. It amounts to the same thing. Right. There you go. We got that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to give it an ooh baby at that, but uh, I think that would possibly be overkill. All right. Now, get shot of this bit. Yeah. Create your uh, your beautiful on the same elevation, no manky track, uh, little switcheroo here. All right, okay, so I'm going to need to uh, down tempo by one, please. That's close. What about by two? That's off. Okay, it's uphill by one. Okay, fine, good, done. There you go. Then you can't. You, we've got a non manky junction going on there. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Slightly slow corner, but I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, uh, slip the thing again. Yeah, well, it worked. It's bulldo bulldoze. Yeah, I mean, why is your first instinct to go for the bulldozer button? It's the best button in the game. Right, so we've got queuing here, double tracked. Yeah. Uh, caution. No caution required. Look, you're coming in on this track. They don't do that, though, do they? All right, no, you're coming in on this track then. Use the slip junction, wang your way down onto platform three, which is, oh, that's actually platform two, uh, which is the one that you'll be using. Meanwhile, this Johnny over here comes down over here, uses the slip junction, comes in on platform one. Oh, yeah, and then you go out this way and you're heading out on the right side of the track. I know, I'm a ruddy, adequate track planner in this sense, given that it will be seeing one train every two and a half hours or some such. Okay, yeah. You just give it a bit of that. Lo and behold, you've got room to queue some trains. And everybody started singing again. 
because that's what they do here. Now, I'd also done, I don't know why I did this. Uh, I think it will become self-explanatory in a moment. Right, so here's the track down to Utopia Planitia. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Do you want a bit more track on that? I think I might, actually. But uh, I think also I might just, uh, you know, you know, give it a bit of... Ooh, how's your father? Right, give it a bit of that. Yeah. And one more bit. There you go. Because right, I think we can get a, a slightly different, if not better, if not just different, uh, line of attack there. I think this, again, you shouldn't have deleted. That was working, and that's just for freight, so nobody really cared about the uh, about the change that we made there. Okay. All right. Some kind of junctionette. I think some kind of junctionette is warranted. There you go. All right. Which way do you want your... You're going to want uh, at least one signal here. Yeah. And then that's that route's now working again. You've definitely broken one route. Okay, and that's the one, whichever one it was, that just zipped straight up there towards Sherma. I'm not sure that existed, you know. I think that was just a, a piece of track that we put in to facilitate trains coming out of the centralised depot that's in a horrible place. Yeah. Ooh! He's had a thought, friends. Uh, I know what I might do. What? Well, I've spoken before about having two depots uh, to service the entire network. And I think uh, down at Peninsula is where the uh, is, is going to be a great location for one, given that you've got dedicated passenger and rail lines there, and it heads round in a in a nice tidy circle. The only challenge you're going to have in that regard is is making sure that uh, everything can get to everywhere, which is why we're we're slightly concerned about this track layout. Slightly concerned is right, yes. Okay, how do you think? How do you feel about that? Well, it's steeper than I want. Yeah, I don't get me wrong. It's it's maximum steepness. What if we wheel it in and do it at, like the the barest dab of maximum steepness? It's still not that's still not agreeable. What if we were to hook around while going up gently and then go over the top here? I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. I think you've got to go up, and I think you've got to go up sharply. Don't like it. Yeah, I know, but you know, you don't have to like everything. It's going to work. It's going to look great, but is it? Uh, I think it's debatable, but uh, I would argue I would be in the pro camp of the debate. Okay. Yeah. Right. I think the important thing to make. Whoa, easy there, Tiger. Come on, uh, play the game. Uh, oh dear me. Sorry about that. Uh, that got a little bit carried away there. There you go. Flattener it out. Because the problem is you're going straight back down again. But the alternative would be to fly the other track. And that doesn't make any sense given the, 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 uh, the elevation of the bridge. So what you're saying is there is no right solution here. There are a, a collection of solutions that are adequate at best. Still, we get to do this, which is quite nice. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to make for quite a nice view, especially if this is busy at the time. Especially if it's busy at the time. Uh, right, okay, carry on. All right, get down this. Whoa, what are you doing? You know that's not allowed. Yeah, I know, I've hidden it with a rud ruddy great dirt bank. You're a dirt bank. Um, yeah, ah, mm. uh, what do you think? Well, I don't like it, obviously. No, I don't like anything about this. But you know what? In the spirit of getting this rolling, getting it done, let's get it done and get it rolling. And then add that to the perhaps Sir would like to reconsider how Sir has laid that one out later on when we're doing the grand tour of let us reconsider how we have run this. For it appears Sir has laid this out quite poorly. At which Sir will undoubtedly respond, no, it's not quite poorly, it's fine. But it could be better. And you are just being too flipping picky. So stop it. No one's impressed by how picky you're being. You're right there. You seem to be having a bit of an argument. Oh, no, I'm fine. No, no, it's, all, it's all good. Uh, there you are. That's it. That's fine. And it, actually, it is just me arguing against myself. I'm not even, even channeling the comments. 
No, occasionally I'll channel the comments, but no, in this case, it's just me arguing against myself in that, is there not a way you could do this better? And also, I've got a picture in my mind from the, is it not, it's not mainline. You sure? No, I think it's from Metropolis. I think it's from Metropolis where I'd done that absolutely flipping glorious uh, freight flyover right next to the eight junction, uh, the, the eight track junction, which was flaming enormous, utterly pointless, um, but great nonetheless. I mean, it was an absolute marvel to behold, even though it didn't really serve any practical purpose. But it was still a marvel. Yeah. If you haven't seen that series, it's great. People like that one, you know. I, I always thought that it was it was one of the less favoured series that I've done. But I know people really liked it. It's Transport Fever 1, but that, I mean, it's the same game fundamentally. When it comes to, you know, building your digital train set, it's the same game. Um, you know, it's just the, the trappings that go with it that are slightly uh, slightly different. There you go. Right. Now, now flatten. Why are, you, why are you even here? Why are you bothering me in this way? get over there right now what is your problem where you think hang on i can't do a flat bridge that is beyond my capabilities i mean look you that's that's just wonky as anything and, and a, a, an eyesore uh what if i think go do it the old school way oh do you think just pop a wheelie yeah yeah just pop a wheelie over it and you'll be fine all right, okay, let's go. All right, do that, yeah. There you go, one times wheelie. See, told you. You did, that's true. Yeah, no, see, sometimes sometimes the old school ways work. That doesn't know, does it? No, but if I do a bit of that, uh, it's not good, it's not dreadful, and it serves the purpose that I require it to serve for the time being. Hook that up onto there, like that. You're just being silly now. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. There you go. A bit like that. A bit like this. Just to, just to be, just on the off chance that the AI goes, you know where I want to build? Glorious riverfront uh, area here. Yeah. You could have your own little boat. Oh, that'd be super. Yeah. I'll build a slightly less manky bridge at some point, but, you know, that, imagine that that is slightly less manky. Right. We've got stuff that's broken. Please hold. Or all of it, as I like to call it. Um, yeah. Are you okay for signals on there? Going that way, I am. What about going the other way? Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, we're signaled all the way to Gotham. All right, I think what you should do... Oh, I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll take this line. Yeah, manage the line. Yeah, we'll delete all of this. You know you're going you're gonna to upset this train. The train will get over it. All right, we're going to go down here. Yeah, we're going to do, go to here. Yeah, and we're going to go to Gotham. Yeah, and then we're going to come back again. And that's a route. It is currently called the Meg Utop Rail in City. All right, is it using the correct size of the track? If you haven't one weighed them signals, Sunshine, no, it hasn't. Okay, so you're going to want to go uh, Platz 3, Platz 4... Four. There you go. See, now it's happy. Uh, and then you go up to uh, UP and back again. That's actually quite a charming little route. Yes. Okay. Any idea where that train is? I haven't got a Scooby. Um, we'll have a look. Uh, where are you, train? I am train four. I am going to Mega City One and I'm very pleased. Okay. Uh, now, for our next trick. Yeah, yes. You've got no... Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You've currently got no way for trains that come out of the original depot to get onto this line. In fact, you haven't got any way for any trains to get onto this line at all. You'd have to build a fresh depot. Lazy depot for sir? Ooh, it's tempting. It is very tempting. And also, you've got these two leftover platforms here. You could stick a depot out here, run it in, and have a little bit of a, a, a depot shunty freight yard. What happened to the two depots for the entire line? I'm scrapping that plan. Yeah, I think that's just arbitrary difficulty. I'm creating enough arbitrary difficulty for myself as we go anyway. And I think this is going to look absolutely great. You know, if you imagine like another five, six tracks here, all of which have got wagons and trains and all sorts of business parked up on them. 
I think that's going to look really rather nice. Uh, I think what you should do first, though, is you should come out the other way. That way, you can keep all the tracks flat, which this uh, which this yard would then uh, would then cater for. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. No. Wait. 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 No. You had it, and it's gone. I oh, know it's gone. All right. Do it again. Now, the, your temptation when building one of these is going to be to have your depot at the end of one of these two original lines. Don't do that. No, it looks way better if you uh, if you create your... Because obviously you're going to want some kind of uh, cascading rainbow fountain kind of behaviour, multi-track, uh, trickle-off uh, subsystem. Yeah? yeah? Obviously. Obviously that's what you're going to want. Uh, I'll flip in Nora. Uh, yeah, all right, so like a bit of this, yeah, and then uh, you know, wang it all the way down to here. The important thing get all your get all your buffers at the same place because that that look that always looks great. Uh, and then we'll do it again coming off from here. Hopefully, that'll fit. Not quite. If you go the other way, it'll fit. You sure the station's pretty close? Yeah, I know, but we'll, we'll be okay. You won't, you've run out of space. Oh, bum. All right. Well, look. Okay. Well, that was that was just optional. That was just the thing I was considering, but it doesn't actually have to happen that way. Uh, instead, we can we can take another bit off there. Because the important thing to remember here is all of this is useless. It doesn't do anything. This is just for you know the drama of the scenery and uh, and the like. Okay. Yeah. So you've got a bit of that, and then we'll run another line here. You know your video is already too long. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, and therefore, you should be—you should probably have been wrapping it up a few minutes ago now. Yeah, probably. Take this down in line with the station. Oh, to about there. Yeah, I think that's going to look quite cool. All right, okay, and then keep it coming. All right, I'm, obviously, I'm not going to finish the decoration of this now. I'm just—I'm just plotting in the plotting in the tracks, and this could just be a a storage area for uh, for you know potential train action business in the future. All right, you take that over here, like that. Do the same with the one next to it, and then if you can be bothered, slip all the junctions. But you don't, you don't need to. You, the only junction you need to slip is the one that goes to the to the depot itself, which I'm going to put on the end. I mean, it's it's just as tempting to have like three or four depots on here. Which I mean, we you have to decide what looks the most compelling. You see. Yeah, it's because it's all about it's all about making something that's that's compelling. That when you see it, it go, ah, oh, this looks out of the ordinary. Because um, the important thing is when when you're touring your your line later on, is that you get a little flash of memory about, oh yeah, I remember building that. That was great. Um, that came up really nicely, and and that you have uh, landmarks and kind of distinctive layout bits uh, that just by looking at it, you know exactly where it is. Uh, because the, I mean, the one thing you don't get from the towns in the game is any kind of distinctive appearance between them, other than what you build yourself. You know, which would be, you know, where have you put the station? Where have you got all of the the, the commuter bits and pieces? There you go. Let's come up nicely. Yeah, yeah, it has. See, that's all right. I don't, and then I'll do, obviously uh, you're going to want to uh, extend that out to the end of the depot. Fill that full of uh, full of wagons and stuff. Uh, go a little bit further, and uh, I, 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 does this turn into a decorating tutorial? No, I don't really do decorating tutorials because I never spend enough time on it. Um, the one time I did, I was very very pleased with the results, uh, but even then, I could have done five six times as much and uh, and come up with something better. Bit of gravel round the outside because in a, a heavily industrial area, and maybe you don't go full strength on it, maybe you drop it down a little bit. Uh, you'll find that the the ballasts or, or graveled area extends a little bit beyond the track that you're actually using. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Only you know, better, tidier. Add a few more scenic buildings, a couple of fences. Yeah. And if it looks terrible, trees. Yeah, yeah. In in the event that whatever you've just built looks terrible, trees they fix everything. Oh, what have we got going on here? I've already got some placeable assets. Oh well, that wasn't my was not my intent, but I'll put them in just by way of demonstration. 
I'm sorry, we're, I seem to have gone completely off off the rails here, uh, in in the sense of staying on uh, staying on on plan. But you know, this is what happened to that that Spanish train that you bought that you were going to use. I I appear to have picked up a scenic version. You appear to have picked up a scenic version. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. No, but it's great though, isn't it? Have these even been invented yet? Oh, who cares? It's just scenery. Well, I think I think the, the viewing public might care. They might go, oh, no, you've ruined it. Kind of go, well, I'm already running it at, at, uh, at four times speed. And, uh, you know, and at the same time, I've got all kinds of all kinds of other nonsense going on. That's not going to work. OK, that one's broken. Yeah. What else we got here? Yeah, we can just stick a few more of these. You know, this looks better with just regular wagons, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, even even just adding some extra extra coaches in uh, in in a few places is going to look quite nice. And then we'll have this little shunty shunt shunt kind of deal. Well, it's a tank engine, yeah. But you, you stick that down there. Uh, maybe we'll have this one facing the other way and park it up down here. And they could be just you know there for doing a bit of work maybe later on. If you were to spend more than 26 seconds on that, you would do a quite nice job, I think. But it already has a little bit more character, you see? No, I didn't say it was a lot more character. I said it's a little bit more character. You need to pay more attention. Right, let's turn our attention now to the rail main line in City, which is currently broken. Um, where are you? Train 6 is fine. I think it's Train 3 is probably still having issues. Oh, no, it's moving. Where are you going? I'll go to Grazer Ridge. All right, well, you're going the wrong way, then. Uh, where do you actually stop at the moment? Or show, or rather, show me your route at the present time. All right, yeah, okay. So you're currently doing Mega City 1 to Grazer Ridge. Can't be done. So you're taking a convoluted route to get there. How the heck are you doing that? You can't get from Mega City 1 to Grazer Ridge. Can't be done. No, it can't be. You can't, oh, hold on. You could go. Yes, you can. You can get from Grazer Ridge to Mega City 1. You have to cross the bridge, which it doesn't seem to be willing to do. Interesting. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because we're not doing that anymore. Uh, where's Silent Hill? Silent Hill's that way as well. Silent Hill, Grazer Ridge, Mega City 1, Grazer Ridge, Silent Hill, Picks Creek. This is where we want to go. Uh, it's just got this station wrong. And platform assignment. So you're going to go into platform number two at Mega City One New. New Mega City One. The Mega. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Platform two, please. There you go. And then you come out round here. You've got the stack system going on. You wiggle it across there. There's a train stopped on the bridge. That should never happen. And then you do exactly what you were doing before. Great. Good. Get back to work. I have a feeling it's not going to get back to work because you just confused the heck out of it. Hello, Sunshine. You've got a problem. Can no one else help? Maybe you should call Ghostbusters. There you go. Now you've got it. Right. You go and do your thing. And then we've got one more route to lay in and then we're uh, we're here. Which is... All no, wait. Is it? No, we're here. Okay. Yeah. MCO out to Sherm. Now, this is a route I probably shouldn't put in motion just yet. <laughs> I can't even do it. I know, it's because you've clicked on a road station, you burk. Uh, all right, yeah. And then there. there see, that's better, isn't it? Uh, yes, after a fashion. Yes. Do you want to put a little... Uh, you should have something going on here. Yeah, I know you've been running single track up to this point, and therefore it's not really bothered you. In fact, oh, no, no, just leave it as it is because uh, you're only going to be running one. You you are currently running no trains on there. Yes. All right, what are you going to call this? And also, your passenger main line that you had called was totally incorrectly named. Uh, okay, we're going to call this uh, rename uh, to be Sherma. Right, and then we'll call the other one, which is, I don't know. You might have to go look it up. I will do. Hold on. I'll see it unless I can spot it. No, I can't spot it. All right, go look it up. It's this one here. Something's broken. Yeah, all right. I'll have a look at it in a moment. Rail into City Mainline. 
Yeah, this is going to be uh, yeah. rename. Yeah, Grazer Ridge. Grazer Roger. That's a rather. I'm not sure how you got that. I know that was a that was a weird bit of muscle memory that just kicked in. All right, what's your problem? Train four. What's your issue? Talk to me. Hello. Yeah, you're here. What's your problem? Where are you going? You're supposed to be going Utopia Planitia. Yeah. To Gotham. Yeah, I know it's broken. I just... Don't you tick tick at me, sunshine. Well, how did you end up over here? I'm guessing you were on the Shermer branch not so long ago. All right, then I'm going to need to put in an emergency piece of relief track here in order to... Uh, in order to facilitate something good. All right, let's do that. Can you not double track that? Uh, or rather, quad track that the junction? I can. That's in, just in case of emergency. Hopefully we don't need it again, but, you know, just in case we do. There you go. All right, try that on for size. And then... You're on the wrong, you're on the wrong platform, Chief. Uh, you should, as it so rightly points out, you should be on the green stuff. I'll turn you around and see how you get on. Try that on. There you go. See, you figured it out all on yourself, you clever little monkey. Um, good. Right. I imagine uh, during the process of putting... This is almost an hour long. I apologise. Um, but I think ultimately we've we've created something that's rather super. Or at least fit for purpose for the next bit. Until I rebuild it again. Which, obviously, I will do. Uh, right, one more one more route to create and uh, one more train to place. I am going to play to this now. Uh, you do uh, the train depot. Yeah, no, that's right. No, yeah, yep. Uh, yeah. How about laying in the route first? All right, okay. From here, all right, up there, down that one. Yeah, you've already got that route. Did I build this a minute ago? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Well, what's the route that goes there then? I don't know. What did, uh, what the, have I lost my mind entirely? You might have. You've got renamed Shermer, renamed Grazer Ridge. Oh, okay, yeah, renamed Shermer. That's that's the one that you just built. Sorry, it's because there were three, and the other one's not a rename. It's just they're just oh, flaming, whatever. Right? Can you get onto both those tracks? Have I slipped any of these? I have now. All right, good. All right, buy a train. You haven't really got the money for it. I'll figure it out. Uh, right. So we want a steam a locomotive. Uh, yeah. What about a mogul? Um, could do. Could do. We haven't used the mogul yet. What else have we got? In your bag of tricks here. Uh, you've got the OB, which is probably a little bit slow. It is a little bit slow. Ten-wheeler. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a ten-wheeler. Add one of those. Right, it's going to run backwards in places. I have to... I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with about that. Because that's not going to... Good. That's not going to look any good until I'm running electrics. And uh, and while that's fine when we get to electrics, we're not at electrics and therefore uh, it's not fine. Six axle car, they're flaming expensive. Yeah, I know, but if we look, you stick three of them on there, that's going to look quite, uh, quite handsome. It's very expensive. Yeah. All right, okay. So with this in motion, what we're going to do next time is, uh, is we are going to buy... There you go. And uh, rock that down the rename Shermer. Good show. Uh, next time, we're going to expand the Shermer branch uh, down to, uh, to Border Town and, uh, and beyond. Okay, for the whistle alone, that was worth doing. Yeah. And actually, I don't think... I, I, don't, I, I haven't used one of these in ages. Because these are default. Uh, there you go. That's going to wrap it up for today. This was fun. I liked doing this. This was a lot of fun. Um, I don't mean this yard particularly, although that was also fun. But I love rebuilding my own stuff. It's great. Uh, and that's why I, I occasionally, like, you know, just smash it in to start with. Because I know that that might, that might make it work. And then later on I can come back and make it work better. 
or uh, or with greater capacity or anything along those lines. I've been Colonel Failure. Throw a subscription this way unless you've got anything better to do with your fingers. And, uh, and hit the like button unless you've got anything better to do. Obviously, hit the like button after you've finished pressing the subscribe button. You can try doing them both at the same time, but unless you're uh, dual-wielding your mice there, I, I think you're probably going to struggle a little. Unless, of course, you're on a mobile phone. In which case, if you try using both thumbs at the same time, you're just going to end up resizing the screen or something. Or, or if you're on Apple, it will probably charge you 50 quid. Um, I'll be back soon with another one. Next episode, more Passange. For Passange is where we live. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio. Well, there you go. I, uh, I, that was a fun bit of building. I enjoyed that a great deal. And uh, hello, I'm back at the end of the video again. And, it, and, and this wasn't intentional. I hadn't intended to be back today. But unsurprisingly, I was forced out of retirement from this section uh, due to having a Wizio request come in. So hold your horses. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but because I had a highfalutin idea as to how I was going to evolve these end sequences into being something a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more, you know, interesting and diverse, semi-vlog-like, you see, is what I was aiming for, but it didn't come off, or rather it, I didn't get round to it. There was a little bit of a logistical speed bump that I just didn't get the opportunity to, anyway, I'm back, I'll, I'll do it like this for here on, for, from here on until I manage to solve it myself, because you seem to like it, and therefore that's nice too. Today's request comes from Anna, and uh, and she's got this uh, dedicated to, uh, to her fiancé, Thomas, otherwise known as Heroberg. Uh, and I come from Bruno in the Czech Republic. Uh, and uh, apparently apparently Thomas is, a, is an avid fan and supports the channel on Patreon. <laughs> How could I refuse? Uh, whenever he's feeling blue, my videos always cheer him up. Hey, well, that's what I'm here for. Uh, anyway, once I heard your outro, uh, for which uh, somebody asked you to share your life advice with a guy who was just about to go to college. It was funny, witty, and genuinely helpful. I'd like to request a similar outro. My fiancé's birthday will come on November 8th, which is today. Uh, he will turn 36. A good age. Your mid-30s, it's great. And it's, all, it, it's just about to get probably... In most cases, in my personal experience, just about to get really quite pleasant. Um, uh, and I would like to ask you uh, if you could prepare an outro in which you would say, I possibly shouldn't have read the whole message, should I? Um, happy birthday to him and share some of your life advice that you think every young man who is soon to be getting married needs. We're getting married in spring 2022. I'm sure you'll do it in your usual witty and insightful way. I, I make no guarantees. In terms of timing, if the outro could be timed specifically for November 8th, uh, could you perhaps include it in one of your videos between November 5th and November 7th? So it precedes his birthday. Oops. Let's get to the story. Anyway, thanks very much. Sorry. Yeah, I should have read that bit earlier. I kind of sk I skim it and go, you got a specific date, November 8th. And you mentioned that twice. And I go, right, that's it. Oops. Okay, sorry, yes, sorry, right. On with the on with the show. Marriage, friends. Now I know I know a bit about marriage, because I've had two. I had one and that sort of didn't, and then I had another one, and it's brilliant. Uh, the one that I have at the moment is brilliant, and everything about it is brilliant. But it would not be brilliant were it not for some of the egregious errors I made with the first one. And uh, and as much as it takes two to tango in terms of things not working out, I have to take quite a lot of responsibility myself. Um, uh, I mean, it was not uh, a fireworks and nukes going off kind of a kind of an end to the first one there. Uh, it was more that the two of us had just over the years gone in very different directions in a, in a life and, and what we do kind of a fashion. And all that demonstrated was a uh, a fracture that had existed from day one. We were never really that compatible. Uh, and then we got married, and then a couple of years later had kids, and the kids keep you so busy in your head that you you kind of lose track of the other person. And then when the kids get older so that they're a little bit more independent, you've lost... You, you suddenly go, who's this person? Uh, this is not the the fun times that it was when it started out because uh, I, I got married for the first time when I was like 23 I think something like that um, and uh, under 22 even might have even be 22 um, 
and uh, and you you end up coming out of the, the 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 children occupying all of your mind space and you're in your early 30s and you're a very different person from the age of 20 to the age of 30 very different you very different. The, the problem with being 20 something is uh, particularly early 20 something is you know everything you are a hundred percent i know everything there is to know everybody does it i was a complete flaming nightmare at that age because i was so cocksure of myself that i knew absolutely everything by 30 you kind of figure out oh hang on i don't actually know anything but the things i do know i really know and therefore i'm gonna flex my expertise at every opportunity i get i'm prepared to accept there are some things i don't know but there are some things i do know and i'm going to demonstrate that expertise as often as possible and that's fine too but also it's still wrong now i'm i'm rocketing up on 50 um got a year and a half to go yet but at 40 you kind of go like i accept there are some things that i don't I, that i am not an expert in uh there are some things that i am moderately expert in and i don't really care who knows it and that was liberating that was the most liberating thing is you no longer have to prove anything to anybody you kind of go i am more or less who i am i don't have to prove anything anymore oh it's wonderful it's absolutely absolutely wonderful not having to prove anything at all uh but at 50 i don't know how that's going to change see i i, I because there there is an evolution of of your of, of how you perceive yourself anyway i back up um uh getting married yeah here's the here's the secret to uh to successful marriage is you have to be able to make each other laugh have to uh whatever dopey stupid antics your other half gets up to um you, you've got to find it amusing otherwise it will be irritating uh if there is something about them now that irritates you either address it and uh, and explain clearly how you would like that behavior to change or get over it right it, 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 you don't go into a marriage thinking you're going to change the other person yes they are going to change dude that's that's going to that's going to happen but it won't be your doing you cannot you can maybe buff out the occasional rough edge such as leaving shoes lying around all the place i've tried and uh, and herself has got better she's not great but she's got better at it and that's as much as i can hope for and therefore i don't belly ache about it anymore what i do instead is i take the shoes and i throw them into the shoe cupboard with violence usually when she's not watching and um, while grumbling you're allowed to grumble to yourself but it should never affect the underlying uh problem See, i mean shoes it's not a big deal in the slightest oh I mean, yeah that's the other thing you have to evaluate what's a big deal and what isn't um uh, the, the other one and this was something i learned when my when my first marriage was was kind of done uh but we were still you know trying to try to trying to get along is uh just for you know for the sake of trying to keep the family bit working while our relationship was kind of going uh i stopped arguing i just decided that in order to keep the peace i was just going to agree to everything no matter how stupid it was I, or i thought it was uh or how unreasonable i thought it was i was just going to agree to everything and i tell you what it was the happiest years that that marriage stayed together where i just went when i just rolled over on everything i stopped fighting it anymore and i just kind of went yeah all right i doubt this is not going to be difficult due to me i'm going to make this as easy as possible because at the end of the day i want this to keep working because we both invested in this house and we've got kids and i just want this to work um so uh, so yeah you can you could be as irrational as you like and i'm just gonna this is all one-way traffic so you're only hearing this from one perspective but i when doing that it made it made me more relaxed about the whole thing than ever before because i mean the end was in sight okay and that that was helpful so uh my advice twofold one you've got to be able to make each other laugh all right two that, that's one there you go laugh you, if you can't laugh it just it it's it's fatal if you can't make each other laugh it's just fatal um uh second you've got to decide whether those rough edges you can live with them or not if you can't live with them you have to dem you have to raise in the level of seriousness required um uh how important it is that that rough edge gets smoothed out if it's a minor thing let it go 
if you let it go if it's a major thing if you don't fix it then it's only going to sit and fester the other one and this is particularly with well okay i don't know i'm going to say it's particularly with blokes but it's particularly with me is uh, is i'm an absolute sod in an argument i can flip an argument round in no time flat at which point i am point scoring here and there and everywhere and it's just it's savage uh, I am de desperately unpleasant uh, in an emotional fueled argument. Desperately unpleasant. I don't mean to be. It's just how I'm just how I'm rigged, and I try not to do it. Uh, and in fact, I've, it's not something that I do. But that's largely because uh, herself and I don't really argue about very much. And when we do, it's a flash in the pan, and it's over three minutes later. Uh, where where we usually both go, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, no, sorry. I had a moment of of what's it and no it's no sorry because so, my approach in a in a in an argument is to win by scoring points uh, and that will be using the wealth of data that i've built up about how i have the moral high ground um whereas uh, herself's uh, approach in an argument is a hundred percent passive aggressive guilt trip and we're both very, very good at it. But equally, neither one of us wants to hold a grudge at all, in any way, even slightly. And so it's a flash in the pan. It's, it's really rather lucky. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not a good situation to be in. Uh, fix arguments after they happen, right? You can't do, I'm sorry, but. You just can't. You have to mean it. If you're going to be sorry, be sorry about it. If you're waiting for them to apologise, and they don't, and they don't you have to ask yourself how important is this because uh if you by the age of 36 presumably you two have been together for quite a while right so uh, so you already know each other's foibles quite well and you've figured out how the two of you as gears kind of mash together uh and where it works and where it doesn't work uh next most important thing uh, so what was that oh figure out what's important right and uh, and get that dealt with that's number three right number four is going to be uh, along the lines of it's twofold there's 4a do stuff together if you're into video games and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether this is uh, anna or thomas that i'm talking to here if one of you are into video games don't let it absorb your life unless they're playing it with you uh set time aside to do stuff together uh because that's how you got together in the first place is by doing stuff together it's very very important that you continue to do so otherwise you drift uh unless you've got some kind of relationship which is let's just do this as a team take the tax break and run a joint account and buy a house together and split the difference at the end of the day and also you know we we kind of dig each other but at the end of the day we're not really that reliant on each other that's fine but that's going to break um uh, so that not so 4a do stuff together 4b Give each other space. You've got to be able to have your own space to do stuff. And I don't mean necessarily physical space, although that really helps. Um, uh, and uh, But let them do stuff on themselves. You cannot be wholly reliant on your partner to be the provider of your entertainment and companionship. Um, they are the most important, and it's even better if they happen to be your best friend as well, but you do need another additional social outlets. You can't just purely rely on that one person um, because it won't work. 4A, the, the solution to 4A, quite straightforward. Eat your meals together every day. Make a moment out of it and talk about stuff. Any old stuff. Just, to, just have a conversation. It makes a huge difference. And then, once in a while, go off and do stuff together. Uh, find something you both like. Maybe pick up a hobbit. Uh, a hobbit? Yeah, pick up a hobbit and throw it across the field if that's the kind of uh, of hobby you want to get into. But pick up a hobby together and, and do it together. Do something together. Uh, it's important that it's unified. And then you'll find you will quite merrily put up with her going fencing twice a week and she will quite happily put up with you going and joining a knitting circle. Um, that's all good. You have, to have, you have to be together. You have to be apart at the same time. 4A, 4B. Anything else? money oh god maintain your own individual bank accounts 5a your own individual bank accounts 5b 
is all of the bills and rent and mortgage and 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 food and anything else comes out of a joint account you both funnel the right amount into the boat the joint account and if you if one of you is paying 70 percent, one of you is paying 30 percent, doesn't matter you figure that out goes into the joint account get the bills paid the most the the, the easiest way to start an argument is bills not being paid um and that's that that's critical that's a that's a point of failure cr point of critical failure right there you can maintain your individual bank accounts that way you you can control your own spending but you need to handle all joint costs jointly. Uh, you have to take equal responsibility. Now, herself and I, we divvy that up a little bit differently. She manages the bills. I've done it. Mean, she pays in her share to the joint account. I pay my share into the joint account. She handles all the bills. She knows what the balance of the account is. I never look at it. And then once in a while, she'll go, we've got a couple of grand kicking around in the account. How about we fix this? Or how about we go on holiday? Or how about we whatever and i'm like yeah i for my part i do the chores so uh i do the laundry i do the washing i put the bins out and uh, i make sure the house is kept clean i do all of that kind of stuff because i like it she looks after the bills because she's better at it um and that's how that works she's also better at picking hotels and uh, holidays and flights and all kinds of other stuff that she is way better at me than because my level of interest goes from here to there in about three seconds on some uh, some topics whereas hers will stay up here for a very long time she she shops for holidays that she has no intention of going on for fun fair play she yeah i, I could talk about holidays I've, I've mentioned it before but uh she used to describe me as being like a brick on a string uh, when doing any kind of holiday or tourist type behavior uh, because I hate it I can't I can't stand looking like a tourist I, I can't, cannot stand it uh, the last thing I ever want is to be in anybody's way at all I try and get out of everybody's way um, and therefore looking like a tourist probably because I spent quite a few of my teenage years in a in a town that would attract day trippers and they'd, have, they'd rock up and they were just so annoying. Either way, what for whatever reason, I, I, I used to be utterly resistant to going on holiday and I used to be, um, I used to maintain my resistance when there. And I kind of went, and now you're just ruining the thing that she loves for her. Wow, well done. So we, we came up with an agreement, which was uh, that I am going to go on X number of, uh, of holidays slash uh, uh, weekends away or whatever per year, and I will be fully invested in the time we spend there. And I kind of go, all right, yeah, no problem. I've got it, yeah. I, you know, she's, she's learned that it doesn't matter what she does, I'm still going to hate being in an airport. Still going to hate it. I hate airports. Um, I'm going to hate it, and there's nothing that she can do, and all that the best course of action for her is just to uh, to silently wander along with me while I'm fuming uh, with hatred uh, of everything about the entire experience. I could do that as a separate discussion, but I just hate it. Um, but when I come out the other end and we get to the hotel, then I've learned how to switch holiday mode on an awful lot faster. Uh, it does involve drinking quite a bit, but that's by the by. Um, uh, yeah, and and the 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 trade off for that was that she will go on holiday herself uh, a couple of times a year, and I can stay at home. This makes both of us very happy. She gets to see you know places like Milan, and uh, uh, she's got a lot of she's she's very into Italian history at the moment. So she'll go off and do all of the touristy bits uh, in Italy. And I've said, look, if you find somewhere you particularly love, when you get back say i'm taking you there and i'll go okay then and that's that's fine she gets to do the scout mission she's been to you know half a dozen different places different italian cities to look at all of the history uh and uh and when there's one she particularly likes she'll go i'm taking you there i go all right cool but she loves it because she gets to see more of the world than she would do if she was waiting for me to rubber stamp it I love it because I get a week in the house on myself or a couple of days in the house on myself, which is heaven. 
it's, it's fantastic because the house is 100% tidy. Uh, I can eat at, uh, when I feel like it, what I feel like. And I don't feel guilty about spending so much time ensconced in my little bunker area doing nonsense on the internet. It's a win, 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 win. But that's the kind of negotiation and agreement that you have to be able to come to. Remember, you're in this as a team. You're a team working on this together. Uh, and uh, and the more you work as a team, you have to make their happiness your personal responsibility. And that goes both ways. That's a little bit Starship Troopers, isn't it? Um, it goes both ways. You have to be responsible for making each other happy. Last point present giving now uh birthdays christmas fundamentally obviously i speak from this on a on the basis of a, a a christmas is a thing here you might not celebrate it whatever your gift giving ceremonies throughout the year here's the vital thing put a price cap on it do not let it become an arms race because it will you will try to beat each other anyway happy birthday thomas and congratulations on your uh, on your upcoming wedding. I hope it all goes smoothly. I'm in Colonel Failure. You can have one of these outro videos yourself if you go to wizio.com slash colonel underscore failure. That's the advert. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.